In May of this year, a student at Dunwoody High School died in class after unknowingly ingesting fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid typically used to treat patients with chronic severe pain or severe pain following surgery. It's approximately 100 times more potent than morphine and 50 times more potent than heroin. Illicit fentanyl is being mixed in with other illicit drugs to increase the potency of the drug, sold as powders and nasal sprays, and increasingly pressed into pills made to look like legitimate prescription opioids. There's significant risk that illegal drugs have been intentionally contaminated with fentanyl. Because of its potency and low cost, drug dealers have been mixing fentanyl with other drugs, including heroin, methamphetamine, and cocaine, increasing the likelihood of a fatal interaction. Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal, depending on a person's body size, tolerance, and past usage. DEA analysis has found counterfeit pills ranging from 0.02 to 5.1 milligrams, more than twice the lethal dose of fentanyl per tablet. With over 200 deaths per day attributed to fentanyl, no community is immune to this growing epidemic. In response to the tragedy at Dunwoody High School and ongoing overdose deaths in the community, Dunwoody United Methodist One Lamb Initiative is partnering with Dunwoody Baptist and St. Luke's Presbyterian to offer an informational program open to all interested individuals. This presentation will include Dunwoody United Methodist member and addiction psychiatrist, Dr. Karen Drexler, a member of the Dunwoody Police Department and a therapist from Summit Counseling. We will learn how to recognize an overdose situation, when and how to use Narcan to reverse the effects of the opioid overdose, and how to talk to your children and youth about the dangers of using drugs and the risk of unknowingly encountering a deadly dose of fentanyl. Please join us in the Dunwoody United Methodist Fellowship Hall on Wednesday, June 26 at 7 p.m. for this important program. Invite your friends and neighbors and anyone who needs to know this information to come along with you. If you have questions, please call the church office for more information, and we hope to see you there.